Imagine a conductor who can't control his orchestra. That's what it can feel like learning with dyslexia. All the instruments needed are there, but control seems just out of reach. The constant worry of having to perform. You can see what's written, but something gets lost in translation. And sometimes you feel like things are coming apart. For many students with dyslexia, anxiety, frustration, disappointment, hopelessness, isolation, become a part of everyday learning. For students with dyslexia, the classroom can be an unfriendly place where challenges and obstacles are often expected. At Nickel State State University, University, we we help help students students exceed exceed expectations. expectations. Well, you're mainly looking for, um, I think the both of us were, for someone that's gonna, you know, look out for your child, someone that's gonna be there to help guide them if they have a difficulty throughout the way. It's that area where someone's gonna just help them to smooth over from going from high school to college, because that is a huge transition. And then when you have a child that does have some type of difference, you wanna find that niche where they'll fit in, where they can blossom and grow. We always felt like a smaller environment was uh, the best thing. I think one of the most impressive uh, things was at this Lexington Center, sometimes in a classroom, uh, if there's a little noise or if there's, uh, I don't know, an interruption during a test, it, it may affect a kid that has dyslexia a little bit more and it takes them out of their uh, train of thought. One of the things I was looking for when I was shopping for colleges my senior year of high school was like what different colleges in the state of Louisiana offered for students who had dyslexia and other learning, learning disorders or learning differences. And you know, I looked at all the other different schools in the state and Nichols was the only school in the state that had offered something that was specifically just for students with dyslexia. And my first question is where do I sign up, where do I sign? I really like Nichols because it is smaller. I came from a small high school. I only graduated with 89 and I knew everybody in school. That was me, I knew everybody. And coming to Nichols, Nichols is a small community, it's a small college, but then also the center is even smaller than that. And it helped me transition because I came by myself. I'm the only one here from my high school. And it, now I have friends, um, and several, and some of them are sitting in this room. Thomas Edison, he had a mental disability. And the people that are different and want to change the world, those are the people that do change the world, surprisingly. Here, after first semester here, I finished with three on my first semester. And that was with the help of the Lexus, and I couldn't have done that without. If you know what works, or even if you don't know what works, they're going to help you find the right direction, the right path, and they're going to help you succeed. They are here for you. That is what the Dyslexia Center is for. You're not a number, you're not somebody on a roster, you know, they're not just taking your money. They really, they're personal. I would have to say the Dyslexia Center has saved, saved my career. I've always wanted to be a nurse. I grew up everyone telling me that I wasn't going to be able to become a nurse um, just because of the label of dyslexia and everyone uh, um, really did not know um, in my hometown what dyslexia was so when I decided to come to the center it was the first time that they accepted me who I am and they really have made me find my own uh, identity and achieve what I want to achieve and become who I want to be. If you want your child to do the very best that they can, you'd be wise to pay a lot of attention to what Nichols offers because no matter where else they go, they will not get the one-on-one attention that they deserve 